Ah, uh, so a prominent leak account after getting multiple things wrong, including posting an Animal Crossing screenshot as brilliant diamond shining pearl, just posted a picture from the Pokemon Presents in February as new. Can we please stop giving them attention? The only stuff they got right, they took from others. This whole leak culture in order to be first and gain clout is just nuts and people become fans of said leakers and just ignore everything wrong. Back in January, when they confirmed Diamond and Pearl remakes from a subdomain appearing, they said Legend, which had a subdomain appear at the same time was a new show not a game they are grifters nothing else what is good gamers so it looks like central pokemon who have actually gassed up on this channel is literally ruining their rep i think they're just trying to be first on everything and getting ahead of themselves and excited and it's really really cringe and embarrassing and sad to watch so if you don't know what joe america is actually talking about here centro tweeted out so this supposed screenshot from the next pokemon bdsp trailer just appeared on reddit could be real could be fake we don't know and here's a more clearer screenshot of it so you might think oh wow you know the models look nicer wait a minute this looks familiar yeah well that's because it was a closed design from animal crossing i don't know if it's from this exact person nicole b but it looks pretty similar when you look at the dress and the top of the hat if we go back uh, i'm assuming it's from this if not something very close this is an animal crossing character that they tweeted out i have no idea why they would do this because they've had you know credible enough or decent leaks and they don't even have to be first they can report and quote tweet other leaks and just put it on their channel they could be an archive of leaks but for some reason they try to be first and put these leaks out as they discover them and they're gonna bring it and break the epic breaking news which is really weird to me because they are tarnishing their own good reputation so if that wasn't bad enough central posted today unconfirmed rumor new screenshot from pokemon diamond and pearl remakes comparison to the reveal trailer came from here we don't know if it's real or not so it takes a little bit of looking into to know that it's actually from pokemon presents the the trailer and stuff and they say the timestamp is 1630 so if we check Check this out here. <laughs> Here it is. It's literally just a screenshot from Pokemon Presents. So for the past few years, Centro has been caught, I guess, taking leaks from other leakers. There's like the whole Spanish speaking community uh, that are really into leaking. And I see a lot of arguments go on all the time, back and forth. He said, she said on Twitter since Sword and Shield has dropped. And a lot of people say that Centro allegedly, you know, steals all these leaks from other people. And they have just been missing and missing and missing since, I don't even know, honestly, since the nintendo switch stuff really came out that's when i was like bro like it i i appreciate the work the positive and good work that Centro has done uh you know talking about the remakes and stuff talking about the crown tundra and all that that is that is cool but i think just this weird wave they're on right now trying to be first and uh, you know get the likes and all that stuff before everybody else is really hurting their rep. We have received and verified a screenshot from a big retailer's internal system that shows a new Switch hardware related listing will go live on June 4th around midnight. As of this video, it is now June 9th. That's all we have for now. There's no other data slash attributes in the listing right now. So yeah, no Switch ever came out from this. Anyways, I made this video because I just talked about Central Pokemon so much on here in a positive light. It seems like right now it's going to be kind of hard to trust anything that Centro says, which which is really unfortunate because it's their own doing i hope they go down a better path and you know own up to the mistakes they have made instead of trying to get ahead i feel like people just always really get into this type of scenario where they are competing with a specific group of people i think centro had you know friends in the leaking scene and then you know the spanish speaking pokemon community and uh, you know some beef happened and so centro is like okay you guys hate on me like i'm gonna i'm gonna go up and you guys will be sorry once i'm on the top so that's kind of what centro is you know aiming for right now and in doing that, you know, which is very possible for Centro to do, they are actually like, you know, fumbling the bag here and are falling behind the people that they are trying to get ahead of. They have beef with, but this is all just me speculating from what I've seen on the timeline with arguments and what other people have said. It just doesn't seem like in the Spanish speaking community and a lot of the English speaking community as well, Centro Pokemon is not a very highly looked at leaking source at this current moment in time. And yeah, I just hope that everybody makes amends and and people start being credible and truthful and giving credit when it's due. So anyways, with that said, I hope you gamers enjoyed. Join the Discord down below if you haven't already. And I will see you uh, on the next video, on the next live stream. Hopefully reading a credible leak. Peace out, boys.